it was another excellent week from extreme trader i'm so happy to see the results as i told you it's gonna be our comeback and that is exactly what happened so as we can see uh, monday actually was a hundred percent in profit all of the signals have reached the take profit number one and two and even three uh tuesday of course we had some losses here and there but however we have recovered instantly with the other signals and then on wednesday it was another excellent day as you can see thursday was another excellent day and friday we had very small loss of just the 26 pips against again my friends all these profits so again fantastic performance from angela i'm very happy to see the results of the extreme trader premium group i believe we are back on track and we have thankfully recovered most of the losses happened recently and again don't forget guys that you can join now the premium group um, with a good discount as we can see right now we are actually celebrating a five years of launching the extreme trader channel on youtube and thankfully uh, we have grown we have actually delivered thousands of pips and profits to our clients and i'm very glad to say that we have we have actually more than five clients who actually have been with us since we launched the service five years ago they are still with us and we are very proud to have them and there is one reason actually there is a reason guys why they are still with extreme trader and renewing every year they are making really a good profits never ever judge the service after one or two weeks you have to complete one month or two months to judge the service and to realize how profitable and good it is so of course don't miss uh, this opportunity this offer will expire by 31 of october so make sure to contact our support before that to join the premium group in a very good and reasonable discounts so of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course we will start with the euro usd but before that don't forget please to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and of course share the video so right now for the euro usd the first thing that we need to do actually is go to the weekly chart now on the weekly chart what we can see right here is really interesting because we can see clearly that the market my friends has instantly made the bullish breakout from that resistance at 0 0.97821 which was previously also a support which means the market is actually going to continue the rise, but not immediately. There will be some steps to be happened first. So let's now go back to the daily chart. Now on the daily chart, the first thing here that we can, we can actually notice is that the market is about to create the inverted head and shoulders pattern. So meaning the market actually has made here a, a breakout from that level of resistance at 0 0.99810, but the market also made a, a fake breakout. Hmm. A fake breakout right here means that the market is most likely going to continue the fall. Let me just tell you something. Once you see actually a false breakout or a fake breakout, usually the market will go in the opposite direction of it. Same like what you can see right here. We can see right here a fake breakout and instantly the market went in the opposite direction. Um, a fake breakout and then the market went in the opposite direction. Of course, it's not a rule. I'm not saying that it's a rule. It's not like a strategy. It's not like the golden, um, the, the, the holy grail strategy. It's just an indicator tells us that the market actually has uh, shown a behavior for a bearish reversal. So that being said, we are actually going to start shorting the euro usd and the target my friends is going to be right here the lowest level of a support and i think by midweek analysis video we will send you the signal to start buying the euro usd from that level but for the meantime we are actually going to start shorting the euro usd so the question is is where exactly we can start shorting the pair let's now move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame pay attention so we right here have a real level of resistance exactly at 0 0.9965 and that was of course the highest level of the resistance and on friday the euro usd has actually shown here some pressure to break out from that level of resistance but the market has actually failed to do that which means right now the market is actually reversing is making a bullish reversal upon the pressure from that support level right here that support right there at 0 0.99420 i think the market is actually facing a pressure from that support and is going to continue the rise uh, for about 33 pips before we can start shorting the pair but again we need another confirmation to find where exactly we can short the euro usd maybe this is not the right level to start shorting it so the question is where exactly now let's just use here the trend lines which i really like so again, we're having here this resistance trend line drawn from this higher high all the way to this lower high. 
Now all I need to do is actually let me, let me just uh, make it more accurate. Correct. Now all I need to do, my friends, is simply drag the very same support trend line all the way to the nearest support trend uh, resistance trend line. Now there it is. This is the nearest resistance trend line. We can see the fake breakout number one, fake breakout number two, and then the market has eventually respected that level as a resistance trend line. Interesting. So meaning, indeed, that level of a resistance is going to be our target. That is exactly, my friends, where we can start actually shorting the euro USD after it rises for about 25 pips more. And again, the target, of course, has to be right here, the lowest level of a support exactly right there at 0 0.98860. That's exactly where we can start uh, buying the euro USD. And that means we are aiming approximately 103 pips profit from this signal. And the safe zone is ranging till the lowest, the highest level of a resistance right here at 1.00500, which means it's ranging. Actually, that's a lot. We don't really need that much. I mean, yeah, that should be fine. Since we're actually relying on that level of a resistance and also that resistance trend line, we don't need actually higher than that as a safe zone, which means the edge of the safe zone, my friends, is ranging for about 40 pips only against 103 pips of profit. Moving now to the pound USD. All right, so for the pound USD right now, let's go to the weekly chart and pay attention, my friends. Uh, almost very similar thing happening right here for the pound USD. The market has made here a very strong bullish movement or a breakout from that very long term support at 1.14480. That support has been there. I think it was... Um, it started back in 1985. It has been respected again back in 2019. Oh, uh, sorry, 2020. And now the pound USD has made the very historic, the historical breakout from that level of a support and went down for about 1,102 pips. However, right now the pound USD is actually making the correction. And as we can see, the market is moving in a very strong bullish movement. But what can we expect next with this pair? Now, in my in my opinion. The pound USD is actually facing right here on the weekly chart, of course, a resistance level. Now, we can expect from the next candle to be a bearish one. And then the support level right here. And of course, right there, that's the, that support is most likely going to be respected later. So therefore, we can start buying the pound USD uh, once it reaches 1.14480. But until then, we are going to start shorting the pair, aiming 154 pips. Now, let me just now go to this smaller time frame. Let's go to the daily chart. On the daily chart, we can see clearly right here, my friends, a very strong key support level. That support, again, most likely going to be respected. But is the pound USD going to fall immediately? Keep in mind, I'm on the daily chart, which means the market still has 100 and about 160 pips more to go. So meaning we have confirmed the direction on the, on the daily chart. Since we can see right here, exactly right there, the peak of the real level of a resistance at 1.16440, uh, that level of the real, uh, real resistance has been respected again. And we can see right here, the market has actually formed a fake breakout. So now moving to the four hour time frame. Now again, on the four hour time frame, all we need to do is identifying the level where the market might actually continue the rise to and then we can start shorting the pair. So how do we do that? By simply using the resistance trend lines. And we can simply find right here, my friends, that the market has formed here a resistance trend line all the way like that. Fantastic. So we can see that the market indeed respecting that level of a resistance trend line, which means the market is most likely going to continue the rise till it reaches that level of a resistance trend line. And then after that, boom, it's going to continue the fall. Which means, if I'm not mistaken, we can see my friends right here, we had actually right here, we had a real level of a resistance, then a fake breakout, and then the same level of a real resistance, check this out, has been respected. Interesting. Which means the pound USD is indeed going to continue the rise, and then it's going to uh, make the bearish reversal once it reaches the same level of a real resistance and also touches the resistance trend line, and afterwards it's going to continue the fall. And there, my friends, we are going to start buying the pound USD, and we can see that the market has already formed a support number one. So that real level of a support is most likely going to be revisited again, and the market then is going to continue the rise. Which means 
we are going to start shorting the pound USD once it reaches 1.16440 and the target is going to be at 1.4480 aiming about 200 pips of profit and the safe zone is going to be ranging till the highest level of FX resistance at 1.17383 uh, which means it's going to be ranging for about 92 pips. Moving now to the pound USD, sorry to the AUD USD. All right, so let me just tell you about the AUD USD. Actually, if we check now the weekly chart, the weekly chart is actually different from the pound USD and the euro USD because the market has already formed right here the fake breakout. And pay attention, the market has already respected that level of a support. It already already happened. Let me just draw the line here to make it accurate. Exactly, check this out. So this was the real level of a support. This was, my friends, the fake breakout right here. This was a fake breakout. And then the market already here created a tail, meaning that level of a support has already been revisited and respected. Which means for the AUD USD, I believe we can start buying the pair. We don't have to wait for the market to make any bearish movements. So let's now move to the daily chart. Now on the daily chart, we can notice that the market is already there. Check this out. This was actually, by the way, um, I was trading this uh, setup on on Friday night, and I made a scalping here just for 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 very few pips. I think I was trading on the thirty minute time frame. I think I entered my trade right here and just exited right here. I think somewhere here at the nearest resistance. So I think I got like 30, 13, 14 pips only. Anyway, that's uh, that was a good profit, not bad. I think it's about eighty dollars for me. That's fine, by the way. Anyway. On the daily chart, my friends, we can notice that the market is starting uh, to form here inverted head and shoulders pattern, which means that most likely the next candle is going to be bearish for some time. I think it's going to reach the lowest level of a support right here. And after that, the market will shoot up and continue the bullish reversal, which means for the AUD USD, we will have, we'll have to wait for the market to fall for about... 47 pips before we can start buying it i believe that's going to be the best level to start buying the AUD USD. and of course once we do that the target is going to be right here the highest level of the resistance where the market has originally reversed from as 0.65220 which means we are aiming 153 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone is going to be ranging till the nearest support level as 0.62974 which means the safe zone is ranging for about 63 pips against about 100 actually let me be accurate against uh 150 160 pips hopefully gonna be in profit now moving to the usd cad all right so now for the usd cad let me just tell you something my friends the market actually on the four hour time frame has formed right here a very strong key support zone pay attention that level at 1.35041 has already been revisited again uh, three times actually from the usd cad uh, sorry by the usd cad and we can see the market has always reversed from that level of a support in the case that the market is indeed facing a very strong uh, pressure uh, on that level from the bulls and they are taking the market to continue the rise and if i'm not mistaken we can see right here the daily chart and again my friends that price action right here indicates for a bullish reversal so the question is where exactly we can start buying the usd cad now let's move to the one hour time frame i want to see the candles by details now pay attention right here my friends this is the perfect setup in my opinion if you want to guys um have like a winning setup for for trading forex if i'm not mistaken this is the perfect perfect setup i think it's just really completed so right here my friends we can see that the market has indeed created here a very strong key support level that can be confirmed by seeing the tails right here these long tails are representing a very strong pressure from the support and most likely uh, after seeing the fake breakout right here we can notice that the market has also here respected that level of a real support so most likely the market is indeed going to continue the rise upon the pressure from these uh, uh, support attempts now pay attention to what happened every single time there has been a fake breakout 
every single time the market has made here a very strong bearish movement to break out from that level of a support and again reversed exactly at 1.3550 and then the market was ranging right here so pay attention to the attempts right here the resistance attempt was actually really poor it was hopeless and the market instantly made a, bear, a bullish breakout from that level of a resistance then the market has tried to make one more attempt to break out from that level and reversed again once uh, again at 1.3550 zero and then tried again to rise again that above that uh, reverse below that level creating a resistance but the market has give has give up has given up actually and as we can see continue the rise again so that means buying the market again at the exact same level of a support at one actually let me just rise it a little bit more yes at 1.35693 is going to be ideal in my opinion it's going to be the best option for us to enter with the usd cad and we have to wait for the market to fall for about 34 pips before we can start buying it once we do that the target my friends has to be placed right here at the nearest support to the entry which is going to be at 1.36791 which means we're aiming approximately 109 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone is ranging just till the lowest level of uh, uh, support at 1.35190 which means it's going to be ranging for about 50 pips against 111 pips of profit let's now move to the USDJPY all right so for the USDJPY it's almost something very similar we can see right here the market actually has been ranging my friends for quite a lot of time then finally the market became, uh, came back in the normal uh, structure I mean that structure right here is so messy it's just a big chaos right here you cannot really understand anything um, whoever traded right there it was just a big gambling however now the market is finally stable as we can see there's a structure that I can actually understand so however the market, if we check the weekly chart, the market is facing a very strong pressure from the previous resistance right here at 145.634. So we can see that the market has made here an attempt to break out from that level of a previous resistance and made another attempt right here again on the weekly chart. If we check right now the daily chart, we can see here the many attempts happened. We have attempt number one, attempt number two, and then finally we are having here this price action, which of course indicates for a bullish reversal. Now, going back to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, the best entry possible to start buying the USDJPY is going to be placed right here, exactly at that very strong key support level at 146.748. We can see that right here the market has formed attempt number one, number two, number three of a support. Then we have here a major fake breakout. Remember, I'm on the four hour time frame. So meaning waiting for the USDJPY to fall all the way to reach the same level of the support is going to be, in my opinion, the best entry possible. And I am personally going to wait for this opportunity, even if it might take a while. Uh, we have to wait for the USDJPY to fall for about six, 70 pips before it's going to happen. But trust me, um, if things went well, if my analysis was accurate, it's going to be totally, totally worth the waiting. So meaning we're going to start buying the USDJPY at 146.748 and the target has to, has to be placed right here exactly at 148.272 which means we're aiming 151 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't actually be ranging a little lower than this level of a support right here at 146.132 which means the safe zone is ranging only for 60 pips against uh, 153 pips of profit let's now move to the usd cad all right so for the usd cad i don't think it needs uh, a lot of analysis i think it's very clear and obvious to everyone that i'm going to send you the signal to start buying the usd chf exactly right here at that level of a previous support at 0 0.9236 that's uh, obviously right here my friends uh, a very strong key support level and we had in the middle middle here a fake breakout and again the same level of a real support has already become a resistance now the only problem that we're having right now on this structure is that you are on 17 minutes of the video and you still did not hit the like button and again i'm really wondering what is happening i mean the last week actually uh, some of the signals went in a good profit i think uh, last month actually went well no 
last month did not go well but still i mean uh the last week i think went well so guys um i would really appreciate if you can stop the video and just hit the like button appreciate the video and then continue watching uh that will be great that's all i'm asking for so please uh, i will give you here five seconds hopefully so you will click uh, you will hit the uh, like button All right, so I trust you hit the like button. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And let's now continue with the USDCHF. So again, we have to wait for the USDCHF to fall for about 30 pips before we can start uh, buying it. Now, of course, we just need another confirmation of the signal. So moving now to the daily chart, we can notice right here, my friends, the real level of a support again. And the market has actually fooled us. And we thought that this resistance has been respected. But no, it hasn't been respected. The market instantly made here the bullish break out from that level of a resistance and right now uh it's gonna retest that level of a support and then gonna continue the rise so again back to the four hour time frame i want you guys to notice right here that the candle which i really trust a lot uh this is the reverse hammer that is the candle which I, once i see this candle on a support zone i believe that the market is gonna make the bullish reversal usually this candle never fails me therefore i believe the ucchf is indeed gonna continue the rise once we do that the target has to be placed right here exactly at the highest level of the nearest resistance at 1.00310 which means we're aiming 105 pips profit from the signal against uh yes the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging lower than this level of real support at 0 0.98736 which means 50 pips is gonna be our safe zone against 107 pips of profit let's now move to the gold all right so by the way i have to admit here that uh, last week gold analysis did not work well i believe um it just didn't work sadly my analysis has failed for the euro usd i think it failed also for the actually I'm, I'm, my memory is really bad i think for the usd cad or the uh, usd one of them i'm not sure but however um last uh, late week analysis video did not really go so well however for the gold right now i will stick to my word and i will say the gold is going to continue the rise for two simple reasons please allow me to explain it to you now on the weekly chart we can see right here my friends that the market indeed is actually on a very strong key support level and right now it's on 6042.55 now pay attention this the same level has actually been a strong real level of a resistance in the past so this was the real level of a resistance we had here two fake breakouts from that level of a resistance which means that resistance right now is actually on a new support now currently right here we don't have any price action indicates for a continuation in the bearish movement and all we can see right here is these two are these two candles these two blue candles usually indicates for a bullish reversal but they are not really strong uh, indicator you cannot really be 100 percent sure with these price actions so we need another sort of we need we need another kind of confirmation right here we need another, another sort of, of, of information so moving now to the daily chart I want to share, to share with you something. First of all, that price action, that structure right here usually indicates for a bullish reversal. Second of all, if we go right now to the one hour time frame, what we can see right here is actually interesting. Let me show it to you. So right here, my friends, we're having a support trend line just like that. So that support trend line has actually been breaking out from. Oh, that support trend line has actually been breaking out from with that bearish breakout candle now let me just tell you something the normal behavior of the market once you are having a support trend line and being broken out from usually the market what it does it actually after the break out from that level of a support is going to continue the fall till it reaches the nearest strong key support level and then it's going to start the retest of that level of a broken support trend line to create a new resistance trend line so right now this is exactly and literally what's happening right now we're having here the very strong key support level at one point uh, sorry 1642.55 uh, we can see that the market has already been respected uh there and it has respected that level uh, of a real support now this was the broken support trend line and right now with the market has already reached that level of a support uh, key support uh, level and right now if i'm not mistaken the market will begin the retest level of the sorry the retest journey of that level of a broken support trend line which means the the gold 
is actually going to continue the rise for about 270 pips before it's going to make any bearish movements. Now the question is where exactly we can start buying the gold? The answer lies on the 30 minutes time frame. Right here, my friends, let me just delete this one, this line and let me just uh, show you this. So again, right here, we can see clearly that the market has actually formed right there a support level. Then it became a resistance, real level of a resistance. Then we had here this bullish breakout candle. I believe that the gold is right now going to continue the fall again, reaches the same level of a real support, and we will actually had, we will actually end up with what seems like inverted head and shoulders pattern. And then, my friends, we can start buying the gold all the way till it reaches the level of the resistance right here. Um, let me just uh, go back now to the 4-hour time frame to find the target. So if we started buying the gold right there, the target has to be placed right here at the highest level of resistance as 1667.26, which means we're aiming approximately 250 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging lower than this level of a real support right there. This, uh, this tail right here at 1632.90, which means uh, the safe zone is ranging for about 91 pips against 250 pips of profit. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the gold and for the other pairs of uh, USD for the remain for these days for the days of this week. Uh, of course, my friends, again, don't forget to check out our premium group. We are celebrating the uh, five years of Extreme Trader. Uh, this channel has started uh, back on 27 October 2018 on YouTube, and since then we are providing you with these uh, amazing forex sig forex signals. I'm sure many of you have made thousands of dollars with these uh, signals and. The, the free analysis on YouTube. So don't forget that we're having here a good discount, which is going to end uh, after just two days. Make sure to use the most of it and to join the premium group at the decent price and discounts. And of course, um, keep in mind, my friends, that these signals are uh, subjective to be uh, went, uh, going in the, in the right in the, in the, in the, in the wrong dire direction, of course. So no one is telling you that these signals are going to be 100% profitable. They actually might go wrong. Um, just because these signals came from Extreme Trader doesn't mean at all they will be 100% profitable. Of course, we always have to trade with the proper money management, get ready for any potential losses, and keep in mind that this signal might actually go in loss. Keep in mind also that you are a Forex trader, which means you are an investor, which means every trade you're opening is actually an investment. So make sure that you have prepared your stop losses and the stop loss is actually the amount that you want to invest in this trade. So make sure if you open, for example, the buy order for the gold right here, you have prepared to, for example, to lose $200, make sure that $200 is gonna be your stop loss right here and just prepare for that. If you lost this amount, you are, you are already prepared for this uh, loss. Don't ever uh, regret entering a trade. Make sure that uh, whenever you are losing a trade, you can easily rec recover with the upcoming trades and signals. Uh, just stay tuned, guys, and keep on your eyes on Extreme Trader channel. I will follow. Uh, I will follow up this analysis with a midweek analysis and, of course, late week analysis and hopefully a Friday analysis. Until then, I hope that is informative to you, and I would like to thank you for watching.